the worst earthquake disaster to hit the region in more than 80 years. A Chinese tourist recalls the moment the quick struck. I was in a small alleyway when the earthquake struck. It knocked me over. I felt strong shaking. Stones were dropping from above. I couldn't see anything as the air was full of heavy dust. The shaking went on for about 20 or 30 seconds. I can't remember exactly. When I ran into the street, I saw telegraph poles had fallen down, walls collapsed, buildings cracked. People were standing in the street. There were two strong aftershocks. Many people started crying. There were no phone signals and we couldn't send out messages. The streets of Kathmandu are now packed with thousands of people, both locals and tourists, refusing to go back to homes and hotels, afraid of possible aftershocks. What if the earthquake comes again and we couldn't escape? We will be buried alive. My family dare not go back home after the earthquake. We are so afraid. We have heard people say bigger and more quicks are still to come. So we slept here in the tent. This is safer and we can make a quick escape. Offers of help are now pouring in from governments around the world with drinking water, food, medicine and tents all badly needed. Volunteers and staff from the Red Cross are walking on the ground, helping with search and rescue and administrating first aid. The Red Cross blood bank in Kathmandu is operating at full capacity. With strong aftershocks continuing, for the damage to buildings is expected, sparking more fear among people who've already suffered a terrifying 24 hours. Wang Tongxuan, CCTV.